Legendary composer Stephen Sondheim had more than his fair share of hit shows, but Merrily We Roll Along wasn't one of them, at least not at first. Now, more than 40 years after its rocky debut, it's back. We're on Broadway with Rita Braver. Here we are, and here you are. Oh, yeah. God, everywhere. I love, this. I love this. Were you really in a photo booth? We yes. were. We just got to hang out in a photo booth. Yeah, we were it crammed in. And never imagining that they would be plastered all over the Broadway, Broadway theater. theater. The Broadway theater, where these three friends are playing three friends. Most friends fade, or they don't make the great new ones are quick. We make in a revival of Merrily We Roll Along. But us all friends, what's in the sky's old friends. With music and lyrics by Stephen Sondheim. Jonathan Groff, who drew raves as King George III in Hamilton, plays composer Franklin Shepard. Who says lonely at the top? Oh, I, know, I, know, I, know. I say let it never stop. It's our time coming through. He goes from being super excited young composer into a marriage, has a child, has a divorce, gets married again. Fools around. Fools around. Talk Fools around a little bit. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> drag her. <laughs> Lindsay Mendez, who won a Tony in 2018 for her role in the revival of Carousel, is writer Mary Flynn. She's got some big problems. She's in love with Frank, and oh. she drinks too much. Yeah, I think those things are a bit related. Yeah, she's got a bit of unrequited love for him. Nothing's the way that it was. I want it the way that it was. Help me stop remembering that. What's the most challenging part of playing the role for you? I think it's just the pain of, of, of her and of someone who isn't getting what they want or maybe isn't even sure of what they want. How did you get to be here? By now, you may have recognized the third member of this trio from his days as Harry Potter. Daniel! But Daniel Radcliffe has become an established Broadway star in revivals of shows like Equus and how to succeed in business without really trying. In Merrily We Roll Along, he plays Charlie Kringus. Pick yourself a road, get to know the countryside. Soon enough you're merrily, merrily practicing dreams. Whose friendship with Frank faces serious challenges. It's a very American role. All of us who care about theater here are ways on Sondheim, for somebody like you who grew up essentially in the movies, in England, do you feel about Sondheim the way so Americans do? My parents met doing musical theatre, so like I was like listened to a bunch of Sondheim growing up and other like show tunes were, I thought everyone listened to show tunes in the car, I thought that was road trip music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently not everyone. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I grew up not quite as like steeped in it as, as these guys are, but like loving it as well. The story of creating Merrily We Roll Along is a drama in itself. Fresh from a string of hits, director Hal Prince and Sondheim decided to do a musical update of a 1934 play by George S. Kaufman and Moss Hart. But when Merrily opened in 1981, most critics savaged it. The musical would close after only 16 performances. Still working with writer George Firth, Stephen Sondheim would not give up on the show. He's not somebody who believes you have to do it one way. Maria Friedman is directing the Broadway revival. She's also a well-known British actor who developed a close friendship with Sondheim. You were actually in a production where Stephen Sondheim was fine-tuning the show? That's right. He chose a few of us um, and I think, uh, with caution, took us outside of London. Um, because, as we all know, he had been pretty burnt. Look at us, Charlie. Nothing's the way that it was. That version opened in Leicester, England, just one of many places where the show would play to praise. Over the years, 
becoming one of Sondheim's best-loved musicals. It started out like a song. In fact, Friedman directed a successful version in London in 2012. But Merrily We Roll Along has never been back on Broadway. I feel like you're inviting me into your home, yeah. which is, is right. It does feel like my home. Until now, in this theater. This space is a holding space, and I chose it um, because I wanted it to be like a picture frame. Box office, Lollapalooza, gargantuan. And Daniel Radcliffe says he thinks this production will capture what Sondheim was really hoping the play would be. You know, he's going to be considered like Shakespeare. I think it's going to be sort of locked in amber in a way, and people are not going to want to mess around with it or play around with it too much. Opening doors, singing, look who's here, beginning to sail on a dime. Maria Friedman was in close consultations with Stephen Sondheim about this production just before his death in 2021. He's the godfather of your child. I mean, what does it mean to you that you're probably going to be the person to bring the hit version of this show? Don't make me cry. Um, I wish he was here. I wish he was here to see it because I did it for him. Uh, I would, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I miss him. And uh, I think it's, um, I, I, I feel him in the auditorium and I, He's keeping me on my toes, and I wish to goodness he was there. And as for the three friends playing three friends... It's our time, breathe it in. Worlds to change and worlds to win. Someone told me yesterday that the show reeks of friendship, that it's like a wave coming off the stage, and it makes sense because that's what we feel while we do it. Yeah. And yet, back in 1981, the critics panned this show. And now we cannot believe that happened. What do you want to say to the critics as this show is opening? Being what we can. We can't wait for you to see it. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. Yes. <laughs>